Hello everyone, I welcome you to another lesson for today. We'll be looking at Year 13 literature, or specifically poetry, under the theme gender. In Year 13, for each themes, we have two poems. And under the theme gender, we have my neighbor and the woman. This class will be discussing, sorry, this lesson will be discussing on my neighbor, and all our poems for year 13 are written by the same Konai Halidamen. This poem is scandalous, yet is a reality in some societies in the Pacific and in the world. So without further ado, let us discuss or let us read together the poem My Neighbor by Konai Halidamen. My neighbor is a very generous man. He pays school fees of needy children. Every year provides feasts for his church and is a supporter of women's rights. Yet, I can never understand why he frequently beats up his wife. Looking at that poem, you can see that there's a lot of contrast. Okay, my neighbor specifically, it is ambiguous, yet very clear. It can be anyone. Wherever you stay, the person beside you, on the bus, it can be anyone. So my neighbor is a very generous man. He pays school fees of needy children. So that gives you an imagery of what a person, this supposed neighbor is. Now every year he provides feasts for his church. A recurrent theme for our for the poems that we discussed this year, it talks a lot about religion. Religion in Pacific societies are very important. So it is naturally mentioned in almost all of our poems for this year. So they provide feasts, this neighbor provides feasts for his church. Once again, that paints us another image of a type of person he is and is a supporter of women's rights. So, not only is he a religious man, but he is also a modern man that is supporting women's rights. However, there's a huge contrast when you come to the last three lines of the stanza. Yet, I can, nev I can never understand why he frequently beats up his wife. Now that is a big contrast of what is being mentioned before, the imagery of him being a selfless man of paying school fees for needy children, providing feasts, and also a women's rights supporter. However, behind closed doors, he doesn't beat her up once during a heated argument. The word frequently is used to say that he has done it many times. So I'll leave that up to your discussion, whether you think we are able to forgive a supposed one wrong for the many things that he has done in society. While reading this to my year 13s in school, I feel that it is a reality to some people. Some of their fathers are, or their uncles or their pastors or a man that they revere in society has a double personality. Now this is entirely your opinion, whether you think what is being done in public is more important to what is done behind closed doors. But in Pacific societies, we have that silent culture of not reporting domestic violence. And there has been fatal consequences to that. So that is our poem. Mrs. Thayman wrote a very powerful poem, and once again, I think it's scandalous, but a reality to some. Okay, now we will discuss the notes. The poem, My Neighbor, and uh, first let's start with the content or the synopsis. Now this one stanza poem tells us about how fortunate we are to have good Samaritans in our communities or society very generous, pay school fees of needy children, provide feasts for his church, and display of such attributes makes the persona proud to call this Samaritan my neighbor. 
Now, those that are in quotation are quoted from the poem. Now, when you are writing your essays for external, more quotes will warrant you more marks. It's a very short poem, so memorizing the poem with its relevant examples or relevant points will uh, guarantee you a quality essay. However, the second part of the scene is a completely different picture of this neighbor who flares in anger and violence when at home, which the persona can never understand. Hypocritically, this neighbor is a supporter of women's rights, yet he frequently beats up his wife. Once again, that's a very powerful poem, very short, but speaks on so many issues that is happening in our society. The themes or the lessons learned or something that you can take poem. First one would be deception. In life, there are those present in our society who are respectable. They hold high positions in the workforce. They preach from the pulpit and seem perfect in the public eye. But their true colors are shown when at home with their loved ones. If you ever go through both The Woman and My Neighbor, both poems studied under the theme gender, you will notice that Mrs. Damon brings up religious, passive-aggressive words. For example, the pulpit. Now, we know that our religious leaders, they preach or they give their messages from the pulpit. And uh, this can also, however you interpret it, in the poem, this neighbor gives feast to his church. So, once again, the religion is brought up in our poem to uh, signify how it is very important in pacific societies now this hypocritical act should not be entertained because young ones should not be duped in accepting the attitude of wearing masks in public appearances this poem teaches us that looks can be deceiving that's correct we have so many people in our society of whom we know are different out in public and they paint a different picture while at home now that is being deceptive so what we're trying to promote by sharing with you this poem is not to be hypocritical. Do not be one way in front of your friends and another with your family. It's not a good act for you and it's not good karma. So let's just continue to promote the act of not being a duper by being hypocritical in how you perceive things. Another very theme for our for, sorry, for our poem is domestic violence. Now, some people in our society believe that women do not deserve equal rights. However, their status in the society can be elevated only when people at their homes show respect and acknowledge their roles. So everything starts at home. We cannot preach out in public and uh, cause riots and all these things, thinking that it will make a difference when we're not making a difference at home. So what tell us? You start from home and then it can be elevated towards the society. One cannot be a supporter of women rights, women's rights when he beats up his wife. And that's what the neighbor does. He's being a hypocrite by supporting women's rights that, that is anti-abuse towards women, especially domestic violence. Yet, behind closed doors, as the persona says, can never understand why he frequently beats up his wife. Our style. First one is diction. The word for diction is simply the words used in the poem. Now the poet uses emotive words. For example, very generous, need children. To actually move the readers to be aware of such neighbors who can be termed as wolves in sheep's skin. Poetry are very short, so the poets use very decisive words to the audience or the readers to see the true meaning of what the poet is trying to tell us. So our poet, Konai Halutemen, uses emotive words. So when you are reading the poem, engulfed in what you are reading, and at the end, there's a sudden twist where we find out that he is completely different to what the poem starts off with. Later on, we have symbolism. My neighbor indicates familiarity, closeness between the pers persona and the he mentioned in the poem. It symbolizes any person who is deceptive. Now, any person that can be your next door neighbor, the person sitting on the bus with you, can be even someone whom you trust. But behind closed doors, they are completely 
different. So they are deceptive in their ways. Our last style is repetition. Sorry, repetition. Now the pronoun he indicate that it can be anyone in our society or home. It can also be a woman. Now this repetition emphasizes the complexity of human nature. But I would like to highlight that again. It can also be a woman. Now we're not being sexist in our judgment of this neighbor, but we can also understand that even till to, even today, women also commit domestic violence towards men. We do not talk about it because it doesn't seem normal. <clears throat> but this is also happening in our society. And we shouldn't normalize it. Any abuse is abuse. So this repetition of he can be anyone in our society and any gender. So it, it emphasizes the complexity of human nature. Our human nature is different and it, it's very complex. Now that is the discussion, very sh brief, short discussion on the poem, My Neighbor. If you have any questions, you can uh, put them in the comments below. Or you, if you know me personally, I'm your teacher. You can always send me a private message on any of my social media. Thank you. I hope you like and subscribe to this YouTube page. Naka.